Yeah, another plot I'm going to show you around, tell you how long it took me to do it, and how much I got paid. So before I do that, it's a three bedroom property, uh, white ceilings and woodwork, magnet wall, so you got to do a bit of cutting it, bummer. Right? And doors. Uh, but these, these are fairly straightforward doors to paint, so bonus, quite easy to do they are. So yeah, let me show you around this plot. Right, here you go. We're in the uh, entrance hall. Bit dark in here, it's raining today. There you go, white ceilings, woodwork, maggie walls. Uh, here's a lounge. Not bad size, to be fair. Still full of shit. Yeah, good size. Always nice to show you around these plots, show you the layout and stuff like that. So, anyway, coming off this uh, entrance piece, got a downstairs toilet. Back in here to the kitchen diner. Not really got much room to be fair there for a dining table. And then the kitchen. There you go. Spot on what's in this one. And I've left them down because they're supposed to be patched, but he's not even looked at them. And then uh, in the kitchen, you got that section there. That's only just been done, and I think that looks crap. You're better off leaving the treads exposed and painting the treads or boarding them over. Because that just looks shit, I don't think much of that at all. <laughs> it looks like a 300 year old cottage. So yeah, there you go. Kitchen. Up the apples and pears. Not a lot of stairs on this, so it looks lovely. And they've left that bottom rail off there so you can paint behind the spindles. It's always better to do that. Just get cheaper to leave that bomb rail off. So that's that done. Nice, great big stairwell. Complete waste of space. Why they just don't do something about that again? Prefer stairs. Not a lot on them, which is nice. Three bedroom, like I said. I think it said, I think it said it was three bedroom. Got a bit of a land in here. Yeah. First room off, I presume this is a master bedroom, bedroom one. Now, I don't know where they're going to put the bed, but I don't think there's going to be a lot of room in there, to be honest. This one's got the ensuite on. There you go. Good size. Good size. Uh, ensuite. But nice like this. Nice to have a big ensuite on your bedroom. So yeah, that's bedroom one. Then you go into the the one and only main bathroom decent size you got a cupboard there boilers downstairs in one of the kitchen units and then you got bedroom two as you see patch is finished been in here two days and it's still ain't done that unreal yep and bedroom three you know this this is quite small to be honest Might as well have it as an office and put my bedroom. Yeah, some of the rooms not very big. I mean, if you put double beds in, you'd be screwed, wouldn't you? Be cosy, I suppose. So, yeah, that's it. Three bedrooms. Right then, there you go. 
you've seen around the clock. Now, for the interesting part, it took me just over four days to paint this plot. Um, it's about half ten now and I've finished. Now, I could have got it done in four days, but I was pissing about a bit and I've had a lot of people come in and out of the plot, getting in my way and uh, a lot of this chit chat as well, so it slowed me down a bit, to be fair. So it has, me, took me, it has took me four and a half days, but I would have got it done in four days. And the price I've got for this, with doors, is £950. Yeah, £950 to paint this three bedroom plot with Maggie walls and white ceilings and doors included. So yeah, not, not, not too bad, but that's the sort of price you should be getting for a good size three bedroom property. So yeah, there you go. Simple. Four days. Might as well say it took me four days to paint because there was a little bit of uh, interruption, as they say. Uh, four days, 950 quid. Can't mind that, can you really? But there again, I do earn it because I'm good at my job. I've got a routine and I can shift as well. So anybody else is going to talk like at, at least five days. But you're dealing with a candle man here, so it's four days. So there you go, yeah, hope you enjoyed the content of the video. If you did, don't forget to. Until next time, from the candle man.